I spent this month getting ready to quit my job. A day I've been thinking of for a very long time. Before we get into it, I wanted to let you know that I'm putting in my two weeks today. Recently, I placed a sticky note at my desk. It's a reminder not to sweat what inevitably won't matter and to keep up the goals that are big, doable, and fun to work toward. Including this. I would ride across the bridge every day if I could. It hasn't gotten old yet, partially because crossing it means I'm going to do something hard, and I only get to come back over to go home when I've completed the hard task. But it still always feels like play. Jake and I rode up to Twin Peaks one evening when the coyotes were howling in the brush as the sun set. We also saw this home in the Richmond, still proudly beaming long after Christmas. I saw Carmela a few times too. Once to go on a ride and have lunch by the beach. And then again for a Lunar New Year's potluck. We're gonna go to an art event tonight. And we brought this many movies. <laughs> Even when stores are closed, Chinatown bustles. Probably in part because Lunar New Year is this month. There's always something happening around the neighborhood and the ones nearby, like North Beach, where I happily learned Golden Boy is serving slices again. Once a year, we drive north to Marshall to pick up oysters at Hog Island and sit by the bay. This area is like something out of an old story. Rolling green hills, untouched older structures, and a single quiet road that takes you along the coast. I like oysters, but not so much the shocking part. As the end of the month approached, I prepared for my last day of work on February 1st, trying to start my mornings with a clear head and constantly reminding myself to stay present. But sometimes I couldn't do anything but sit with the fear and uncertainty, especially the night before my last day. I am... It's Tuesday, January 30th. It's about 10.30 p.m. And tomorrow is my last day of work. I am taking a year off to travel, to figure out what I want to do next, to grow into myself more. And to be happy again.